Hello and welcome to the Science Fiction Rating System Preview Show, the podcast that shows you trailers and gets you ready for next week when we rate every film from 1 to infinity. My name is Sam Draper and I am joined, as ever, by Chris Redding. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Dinosaurs. Ooh. I'm good and ready for some dinos. And Alex Humphrey. <laughs> Hi there. Yep, ready for dino action. Getting ready. Before we get into the dinos, though, I've got some sad news. Oh. Dinosaurs died out. <laughs> well, what? that yeah, spoilers. Spoil- spoilers. <laughs> We've got loads of bad news. Spoilers. Um, oh. No, um, our last week's episode, you may remember we um, got in contact with a good friend, Major David Rodriguez. Oh, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Was he killed who, in action? Yeah. He emailed us no. to let us know about an investor opportunity, <laughs> so we offered, yeah. um, to, you know, got in touch to ask for some films. Unfortunately, our message was blocked. Oh, oh it didn't get through. Yeah. Uh, the US oh, military no. do have quite a lot of, uh, like, firewalls, so... Maybe that's it, yeah. I mean, it says, it says that the account no longer exists, so... Oh, dear. It, maybe he was abducted, or... We'll you know. never know. Well, maybe someone out there can put us in touch with... Yeah. If you know anyone in the military, we could probably get a That's message true. to him. Michael He's Bay in Syria, might be able to he help says. us. Yeah, true. Yeah. Or if the major's listening himself, get in touch, major. You know, if you're lost in time, whatever, let us know and we'll uh, yeah. get back to you. But anyway, um, no time for majors. Um, everybody get on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's time for some dinosaurs. So. Yes. Uh, first of all, we have. I think this is our, our first franchise to get two entries in the list. Is How do you want correct? me to do the quiz? Do you want me is. to do a question? I've got five oh, that's questions. Yeah. I forgot the yeah, quiz. quiz. There's a quiz. Uh, well, yeah. how, many, how many questions have you got? I've got five. So I could do, it was like, you know, so I could do a tiebreaker. But I've got four and then a tiebreaker if, if okay. I need it. Let's do, one, okay. let's do one now, one after the film. We'll go like that. So, so first question then, Chris. Okay. The... okay. So um, the biggest dinosaur is the Brachiosaur. Mm-hmm. We see that right. at the first dinosaur we see in Jurassic Park. I just want to know how heavy that dinosaur is, and I'll take oh, that God. in tons or elephants. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, that's the guy munching the tree. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with 28 elephants. Okay. I'm going to go and 62. That's, wa- that's way too much. 62 elephants. Right, okay. Jesus. Go large or go home. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Sam takes that because it's 17 elephants or 80 tonnes oh. for a fully grown mm. brachiosaur. Wow. That is a lot of elephants. Mm. It's a lot of elephants. Yeah. 62 elephants, though, Alex. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's sorry. an absurd amount of elephants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did bad on Mars. On Mars quiz, I'm going to do bad on the dinosaur quiz as well. <laughs> It might. It actually wasn't the largest dinosaur ever lived. There were. There've been discovered bigger ones since Jurassic Park. Um, but oh, right. that is the largest mounted dinosaur in a museum. Right. Oh. Yeah. So I thought you very, meant mounted, nice. like that you could get on and ride. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could ride, one, couldn't you? <laughs> nice dino facts. Okay. Um, mm. So more mark your card at home, and we're we'll back with more quizzes later on. Uh, for now, let's get to our first film. Uh, we'll go with you, Chris. Obviously, the biggest dino fan here. You love a dinosaur, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I mean, who doesn't love a dinosaur? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Pete Postlethwaite, that's who. And that takes <laughs> us to Lost World, Jurassic Park. Well, I think Pete Postlethwaite respects the dinosaurs as an animal. You know, I suppose this is so, what yeah, Jurassic yeah. Park did for us. It made them into a, a, an animal, you know, man, not a monster. Yeah. That was the That's what they did. So... Yeah. We've all seen anyway, Jurassic give us Park. A, uh, give seen... us a synopsis of Lost World. Yeah, yeah. So we've all seen Jurassic Park, and yep. um, that went tits up. And then, <laughs> <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, yeah, it's spoilers. Uh, <laughs> but there was another. There was a follow-up novel by mm-hmm. Michael Crichton, mm-hmm. where uh, we find out that, as well as the theme park island. There's also another island where there's dinosaurs and they've been living in their own ecosystem um, since it was um, uh, since the, the, the problems in the, in the first park. 
So uh, basically, there's it's got a bit of an environmental theme going on. So there's there's guys sent there to document it, and there's the original character of Ian Malcolm sent. sent yes. There. Uh, so we get a bit of uh, Goldblum, which is always good. Hell yeah! Who, let me just let me just make the point. Goldblum is now in this list. Is it four times? Mm. Ooh, yeah. wow. it might be more. He's in the Fly, uh, Jurassic Park, Independence Day, and this. Yeah, yeah. And he yes. always plays a scientist. He... Well, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. Jeff Goldblum always plays a scientist. Is he the actor that's in the most films in our list? Probably. So far, yeah. without a doubt. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah. Yeah, basically they it's called The Lost World because they're going back to this island where there's all dinosaurs living and um, in gen, the company that made Jurassic Park uh, are trying to capture some of the dinosaurs to make a new theme park and then that's all the fun and games on the island. Site B. It's Site B. It, right? Isla Sauna yeah. instead of Isla, Isla Nublar, yeah. which was the first one. So obviously we've all seen this film. Yep. Um, have we all read the book? Oh, no. I haven't read the second book. No. no. The, I. I mean, I haven't read in years. I loved the books when I, I was love younger. The, books. The, the second book is. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. I think it's yeah. written with one eye on the film, so it doesn't mean the, the characters fit the film version of yeah. them better than the book. Yeah, yeah. In the first oh, book, okay. but. Uh, I mean, no, to me, good. I always thought it was it was a shame that we never went back to the original island. It always seemed like... Well, that's a... Jurassic Park 3, isn't it? And that's crap, isn't it? No, no. The Jurassic Park 3 is Isla Sauna. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Um, oh. They never that's revisit crap, the original Isla Nublar oh, right. until Jurassic World. Oh. oh, you know what that might be, though? Because at the end of the first book, they blowed up, don't they? So I wonder if they went off book... Well, they never um, they never, they never, never say that in the in the film canon. Yeah, but I, want, but I wonder if, like, because of like, going off Lost World... They, they never of, like, blew it up. That, they something. never blew it up in the film canon because... Um, in Jurassic World, the uh, the buildings are, are still there, and also the T Rex in Jurassic World is actually the t- same T Rex as from Jurassic World Park. Oh, so because oh, right. it's got the scars from the raptor attack. Well, um, let's watch the trailer. I mean, I guess I mean Alex. When's the last time you saw this film? Uh, when it came out in the cinema. Oh, really? So, okay, yeah. so that's massive, because I watched it. Ginormous hype on this one. This is probably one oh, of yes. the biggest. Oh, yes. I was yeah. so excited for this. <laughs> yeah. We're going mental I mean, for this. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can see. How old would we be? 97. So, me and Chris, we, we were, what, 12? I was on the epicenter of Dinosaur. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was the most exciting day ever, really, until Phantom Menace. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, no, I mean, I'm guessing, Chris, you've seen it quite recently. Yeah, I've seen. I I know these films very well. Yeah, yeah. I watched it like a few months ago. I think yeah. I watched it quite uh, a lot okay. as well. So um, we'll watch the trailer for Alex's benefit more than. Thank you. Let's, let's watch, let's watch the trailer. Think about all this. Wow! Isn't it great? Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later, there's running and, and screaming. Uh, let's go, Alex. Do you remember all of that? No, not really at all. Oh, right. The bit I remember is this the one with the bit with the glass? That's the bit I remember. Yeah, in the the, the trucker's tip. Yeah, they on the glass, the, yeah. and yeah. it's cracking. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. Li- yeah. that it, that is in my head. I remember mm. that. I remember very little about the rest of the film, so I'm quite kind of like excited to see it because yeah, I don't re- not good or bad. I don't really remember either way. So. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be fresh to me, in a way. Yeah, I mean, I, I, me and Chris can't really say much, because I, <laughs> I, I guess our, our opinions are kind of like very hardened, aren't they, as to what we think about this film. Um, I'll just say that there's that, that I've got one problem in this film, and you can probably guess what it is. Uh, is it children? <laughs> you, you might be right. You have to tune in next week to find out. <laughs> there's only one kid in it. Sorry? There's only one kid in it. Yeah, but she, she's fucking annoyed, isn't she? That's enough for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Lost World, Jurassic Park. I mean, people at home have probably a lot of people have seen this as well. It was a huge film, wasn't it? Yeah, um, massive. Yeah. It. I mean, it's weird that Spielberg came back to direct it in a way. Mm. Um, mm. He doesn't normally come back for sequels, but no. Um, yeah, and really, I like I won't say what I think about this film, but I think there's a massive drop off after this in this franchise is not <laughs> revealing too much because mm. Jurassic Park 3 is terrible um, it's a shame though because I, I like Sam Neill 
I would have preferred Sam Neill win this one and not Jeff Goldblum. Uh, right. Get off the podcast. Yeah, stop there. Stop Come right on. there. Save it. Save it for next week. You can't prefer anyone to Goldblum. I just don't think his character in Jurassic Park is oh. is as strong. But I know. I, I mean, I do like. I do like. Uh, yeah. I, I'd like it if both of them came back. To be honest, I'd like it if all three of them came back. Yeah. I like Laura Dern yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. It would have been yeah. good if all three of them came back. I think, I think the, the. I mean, I without think we might get our wish in the next Jurassic World. Are they all in it? I don't know. I think there's oh. there's a lot a lot of comeback. It'll be shit though. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, what was I going to say? I've forgotten. Doesn't matter. Mm. Anyway, so that's Last World. Uh, that's our first film. Yeah. Hit us with another Dino question, Chris. Okay. That- oh yes. Yeah. So, uh, I th- that's, as we've just seen the stegosaur in that in that trailer there, the stegosaur. Yes. Uh, how? What I want to know is how many millions of years ago was the te- stegosaurus uh, alive and well? God, you can go first this time, Alex. Oh God! Oh man! I'm really terrible at this. This is going to be awfully wrong. Yeah, no, I know. Um, <laughs> is it millions? How many? go. Millions? Yeah, millions, yeah. 300 million. 300 million. Okay, that's your answer. Yeah. I'm going to go with yeah. 65 million, just because that's the tagline to the first... Okay. Um, oh, damn it! Park, isn't it? <laughs> well, the tagline to the first film was 65 million years in the making. Yeah. Uh, and that's your answer, is it, Sam? It is, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, the stegosaur was 150 million years ago. Uh, so there's actually ooh. more time between uh, when the Tyrannosaur was around, which was 65 million years ago. There's more time yeah. between oh. that and the stegosaur than there is between us and the Tyrannosaur. Isn't oh that just like... Absurd. Yes. Yes. Like when you start thinking about it in millions of years. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I feel less yeah. stupid. And as that, well. that, yeah. that bone survive for that long? You know, we've got bones. Yeah. It's not that bone. It's, it's it's calcified. It's rock. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. But it, you know, there's something, some yeah. proof of that stuff. It just, I don't know. You think about it too long, your brain kind of melts, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can't comprehend and we're only, the, sort of the end of time. fossils that you find are literally the by a strange fluke because of a situation that happened to that particular individual. Yeah, it's like yeah. the smallest of percentages that we get. Yeah. Anyway, it's nuts. So it's nuts. A little factoid for you. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Good. So let's yeah. move on to our second film. We're going to go back in time ourselves now for yeah. our, our oldest film so far in the list. Mm. It's 1959's Journey to the Centre of the Earth. Alex, fill us in. Well, yeah, made in 1959, but set in 1880, Journey to the Centre of the Earth, which is adapted by by Jules Verne's, from Jules Verne's novel, the same name, written in 1864, centres around geology professor Sir Oliver Lindenbrook, who discovers a cryptic inscription hidden inside a volcanic rock. The message, left 300 years earlier by another scientist, points to a path through an Icelandic volcano straight to the centre of the Earth, which Lindenbrook hurriedly heads to with his group of intrepid explorers in tow. However, what they discover on their journey is far more than they ever imagined, as in, it's dinosaurs. (laughs) (laughs) And that's about it, really. Fair enough. Um, Have I ever seen this film? No. No, nor me. Um, it's in black and white. That's the first black and white film on the list, isn't it, as well, I think? Lots of firsts here. This film is so old that there is no trailer in existence for it. <laughs> right, okay. So what are we going to watch? Put it into, if you put it into YouTube, it comes up with a whole film but demands two ninety nine from you. So oh, I found a clip. Um, right. I don't know what it is. So let's just watch this little link I've sent through. It's okay. titled The Ocean of the Underworld. This looks in colour, though. Let's give it a go. Oh, yeah. it is in colour, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've colourised it for us. Come to ask me why I didn't take my rest period. I don't sleep. I hate those little slices of death. It's a sea. It's an ocean with waves and currents. 
There's a lot to like there. There's a lot to like there, yeah. Waistcoats. The one guy yeah. got a uh, little watch chain. Yeah. So I imagine like they one was washed wearing up, the they other ones out from a naval ship, are they? Because they talk all like posh. No? I think it's a good from... era of film. <laughs> yeah, I think that the guy that talk the the one the the one with the shirt buttoned up. He uh, yeah. he's the guy that sent the message, and he's down there in the center of the earth. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, and they discover him down there. So. So he's three hundred. I'm really looking forward old. to this. Yeah. I, I whenever I watch an old film, I always quite enjoy it. But I have that thing where because I'm like young and rubbish, I won't ever really put one on <laughs> unless I'm forced to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. But but I do. There's a lot to. Yeah. I watch one when I'm on the telly, you know, when you turn on, you get like Zulu or something. I'll watch that. That's what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you never got your way for it, would you? No. Which Pretty is heavyweight a shame. source material, Jules mm. Verne, you know, like. You oh, know. yes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Should be fun. I don't know if we've got the colourised version or not to watch. I guess it's. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to make sure we watch the same we'll version. See. And maybe it's not see in black and white. Maybe I'm wrong about that. See whatever they've got in Blockbusters when we go down there. Blockbusters. <laughs> 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 right. Well, there we go. That's the second film of the day. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really. Uh, this is the the list is like you know branching out past the mid '80s into all sort of weird and <laughs> random directions, isn't it? It's mm. good. It's exciting. Mm. Well, until next week, anyway. But um, spoilers. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have another question before the third film. Okay, then uh, sticking with the uh, stegosaur. It's one of my favourites. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a good dinosaur. It's one of the dumbest dinosaurs. <laughs> Oh. Because of its brain size. So yep. the whole thing is about the size of a, a double-decker bus. But how yep. big do you think its brain is? And I'll have this in centimetres. Hmm. Uh, Five. Do we, did you tell us how big the Stegosaur was? Yeah, it, it's about the size of a double-decker bus. Like, a, oh, a, like okay, say, sorry, like 25-foot yeah, yeah. long. But he's dumb. It's dumb. What do you say? Yeah, it's yeah. five centimetres. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking against that. 15. So you're going with 15, okay. Alex. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll go with... What we're doing... Sorry, it's the diameter of it. Yeah, say if it was the the, the width yeah. of it across. Yeah, say the... I'm going to go with uh, uh, 16. Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The stegosaur's brain was three centimetres Whoa! Oh, I should have stayed with five. Oh my god! Well, you've won anyway. You've still all won. it had three. Was, all it could do is basically chew, and that was <laughs> that. and move. That I guess. How do, they, how do they know that though? Because they've they've got skulls. They know how big the brain was. Oh right! Oh, my god. <laughs> wow. There was actually wow. a cavity further back in, like in the pelvis area of the stegosaur, which they actually yeah. for a long time thought there might be a secondary sort of brain. Object because the, the the spinal cord was uh, enlarged in there, like there might be yeah. like an area to look after the the hind limbs and the tail, but that's been de- debunked recently. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, very. It's interesting. good as as an aside. It's good to joke in Mars Attacks when they think they're really clever because they've got really big brains, but then they kind of seem to imply that. Yeah. They're not. They're just kind of full yeah. of. They're just full of liquid that explodes. <laughs> they're not yeah. really intelligent yeah, at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the scores so far are two to Sam, one to Alex. Oh, <laughs> right. We've got one more film before the final. Um, so this is my one. Yeah. Uh, You're it. Before I tell how you about excited, this, how excited? How excited <laughs> about this are you? I am the most excited I've ever been on this podcast. But before I tell you what film it is, let me tell you a little story about. Um, an actress called Whoopi Goldberg, who, <laughs> in the mid-90s, was riding high. She was box office gold. She'd do anything she wants. She'd been in uh, Star Trek. She'd been in Star Trek. She'd been in lots of things. Ghost, <laughs> Sister Act. You know, she was a big star. Mm. She gets a phone call offering her $5 million to star in a film where she will play a futuristic detective alongside a dinosaur. Ooh. She says to the writer of this film... I'm 100% committed to this film. <laughs> yes. Uh, later, when she gets the script and finds out more about the people involved with this film, yeah. she says, fuck no, I'm not making that. <laughs> uh, but sadly for her, uh, said writer had the answer phone message that had got her saying, 
hundred percent committed on it. Yeah. So they sued her and forced wow. her to make this film. <laughs> this this She's film there under duress. Is, <laughs> yes, basically, this film is called Theodore Rex. It is the most expensive director video film of all time. It costs thirty five million dollars. Uh, <laughs> probably one of the few films where its main star is literally a hostage in the film <laughs> <laughs> in real life. Uh, um, the synopsis is basically that it's it, it's the future, and for reasons that I hope I really hope get explained in the film, humans and dinosaurs exist, but not like Jurassic Park dinosaurs, more dinosaurs <laughs> like the sitcom Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs, anthropomorphic, you know, clothes wearing, <laughs> walking yeah. dinosaurs. Um, Whoopi Goldberg plays Katie Coltrane, whose partner is Theodore Rex, the titular Theodore Rex, and they have to. Um, Basically, find a guy who's trying to ki- he's killing dinosaurs to bring about a new Armageddon. <laughs> uh, this film is kind of internet famous. I know I'd heard of it before. Alex, you yeah. must have read about it. Chris, I had heard, heard, of, read about it I've yeah. never heard of it before. No. <clears throat> I- I've been waiting my entire life to watch this. Um, so, yeah, let's everyone get on the wow. floor and it's time okay. to walk the dinosaur. Let's watch the trailer for Theodore Rex. The future's toughest cop is Katie Coltrane. Back. And now she's getting a new partner. His name is Teddy. Hit me. It's a dinosaur. You two have solved this case together. Oh, what? What? It's a dinosaur. New partner, Coltrane. <laughs> He's got the style. I'm here for a new look. Step right up. Push the button. It's a car. Mahalo. You gotta make him look like a real car. I'm too sexy for my kids. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Literally every joke is him hitting people with his tail. They get a lot of yeah. mileage out of the tail, don't they? Yeah, yeah every oh joke. My god! Oh, look, wow! I don't want to give any spoilers for next week, but I think we've got a new number one. Wow! <laughs> her just her futuristic police outfit is pretty like incredible. They haven't yeah. even just like oh let's just wear normal clothes <laughs> and have the collar up or whatever. She's in a full on like kind of wouldn't it be leather, funny like, if like all with that a like, futurist and... stuff like was all like amazing like the best we've ever seen like better than Blade Runner <laughs> and, uh, and all that. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't realize it's like a real world like that. They've really like yeah. Wow! It that looks like exciting. an even more ridiculous Demolition Man. And I yes. bloody love Demolition Man, so I think yes. I can't wait for this film. Is it wise? Yeah, and they obviously bought. Sorry, go on. I was going to say they obviously did get that song, which was a cost them money. It's not made for that <laughs> film, was it? It spent thirty five million dollars on it. Yeah. Wow. What are you going to say, Chris? Is it wise having the star of your film there, like disgruntled and under duress? <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll find out. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Hmm. She didn't look. She didn't look too upset. She looked like she was enjoying herself a bit. Yeah, no, she seemed to be really into it. I think um, she was pulling away, wasn't she? Definitely. I suppose yeah. though she's under there in a court order. She's got to pull away, yeah. otherwise she's going to get, she's get a sued. So, yeah, I just I cannot wait. I think I might stop this podcast and just go and watch it straight away because <laughs> I cannot really wait for this. Uh, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, so that's our third film. We've that, yeah. we've got one of the quiz question to go and then tiebreaker. So, Chris, do you want to uh, finish this quiz up? Okay, so I'm just going to I'm I'm going to throw out an easy one now, just in the effort to try and make Alex get even with Thanks. you. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we'll. I'm going first this time, though. Okay. <laughs> um. So, uh, what was the fastest dinosaur? And how fast? Sorry, sorry. How fast was the fastest oh, dinosaur? How fast? Oh, right. How fast? Yeah, I need one with not... numbers, really. Don't I? I can't ask you for names. Yeah. Okay. So not yeah, the yeah. fastest so, one. Yeah. Okay. So give me the fastest, um, and we'll, I'll take it in kilometers an hour or miles an hour, whatever. Okay, I can have miles. I don't yeah, know miles, kilometers. miles an hour. <clears throat> I'm going to say Velociraptor, sixty-five miles an hour. Mm. It's pretty fast. I don't think it went that fast. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like forty-five miles an hour. What animal? Uh, you know, it was the Velociraptor. Even I'm well. No, forget about the thing because yeah. it's not the Velociraptor. So yeah. Oh right. Isn't it? Oh okay. no, because a Velociraptor is about the size of a chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. I meant well, a Jurassic Raptors Park then. Velociraptor. Sorry. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Terrified. Movie Velociraptor, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that they were that small. I never, never, never knew that. The, well, the Velociraptor... The Velociraptor was... A, it was in the book as called a Velociraptor, but it was that's a much smaller animal. 
in real life right. and right. it was a cool name so he used it in the book um, yeah but when they were making a film about the same time as they were making a film they actually discovered an, another animal which was basically the same dimensions as the one which was used in the movie and that's called Utah Raptor okay so the speed thing uh, I've got a, yeah a, 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 it's actually that same sort of family of dinosaurs uh, right and it's uh, 60 kph, which is actually about 38 miles an hour. So, oh, oh yes. Yeah, so, Alex takes. So, we're that. tied, aren't we? Yeah. We're Got tied. It. Yeah. Going into tiebreaker, right. we're tied. Tiebreaker. Dino tiebreaker question. Okay. okay. If only All Theodore Rex was here to ask it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all I want is so the longest name of a dinosaur which has been discovered and given the name, oh, how many letters? In that name, so we've we've uh, the longest one in the Jurassic Park universe. I think I, I think I know this. Is, what the name is. Pachycephalosaurus, which is actually a, uh, about eighteen, eighteen. I think Pachycephalosaurus. Right now, there's a slightly larger one, and it's it's a bit of a trick because it's based on that name. I'm, but I'm going with twenty three. I think I know what it is. I'm going with twenty three. I'm going to dare and say 24. Okay. It's, is it a micro? Yeah, it is. Things? Yeah, it's a micro, yes! micro path, pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Deserved win. Three three to two there, Sam. You both did yeah. well. That was both close. Well. That was good. Yeah, thank you. And we Coming from we, an expert, that means ho- a lot, Chris. Ho- hopefully yeah. we all learnt something. <laughs> we did, we yeah. did. Yeah. And we'll Brilliant. learn a lot more once we watch these films. Definitely yeah, from yeah, Theodore yeah. Rex. Yeah. Yeah. A- absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> How not to make a film, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if At home and also there, I'm guessing you've already read this, Alex, there's a fantastic oral history article about um, the making of uh, Theodore Rex. Yeah, I've read that, yeah. Alex. Yeah, I've read bits. It, I'm gonna. I've read other things, but I'm probably yeah. It, I've, it, I've that's, it's on it. Slash Film. It's quite a long right. sort of. Um, Everyone involved gets yeah. gets to say, have a say, except Bobby Goldberg. She's not there. But it's, <laughs> it's really fascinating what was made. We'll talk about it more next week when we get to uh, ranking it. I cannot wait to watch it. Um, for now, that's the end of it. Um, let's go and enjoy some dinosaurs. Mm. Join us next week to yeah. rank them. Yes. Until then, yeah. Yeah. I've been Sam. There's Chris and Alex over there and there. Take Hi. Hello. You, what we should do hello. is you go, I've been Sam, Hi. and then I go, I've been Chris, and then he goes, I've been Alex. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, we you know, know what we should do? We should do like an old like, news, and we should go, um, um, for, for the science fiction rating system, I'm Sam Draper. I'm Chris Redding. And I'm Alex Humphrey. Good night. Good night.